Ancient Pyrrhonian skepticism is a bit different from ancient academic skepticism. Sextus Empiricus is a Pyrrhonian skeptic. He compares his philosophy to a laxative. He says his skeptical doubts, his skeptical arguments, and his skeptical criticisms go into the soul, where they purge it of foolishly held opinions, but then they themselves pass on out of the soul, leaving the soul cleansed, leaving the soul in a tranquil state of suspension of judgment. If they remained in the soul, they would leave us being dogmatic about doubt, saying all is false or nothing is true, and being rather confident of these claims. But that's not the goal, that's not the nature of Pyrrhonian skepticism. The Pyrrhonian skeptic does not say all is false or nothing is true. He says, I have no opinion. And this is, Empiricus thinks, a much more tranquil state. Now, this is, as far as I'm aware, the only time in the entire history of philosophy where a philosopher, while doing philosophy, has spoken of laxatives. And now you know.